Hi Pisces, this is uh, Ia Patsy here to give you your reading for the month of November 2017. I already cut the cards, laid out a Celtic cross spread, and I took notes, and uh, let's get on with your reading. Okay, the first cards that you got here were the Earth Element and Karma. Earth element was in the reverse. <clears throat> so it was this and this. All right, so I got a few messages from that. One was that you haven't been going to church because you owe tithes and you're embarrassed. And they called and you didn't answer the phone. You're embarrassed because you didn't pay tithes. Um... But you've been out of work. You are um, trying to get training for a new job. The next card you got was Five of Water. Okay. So this tells me that you are barely holding on. And you're afraid you're going to go under. Next card you got here was the couple. But it was in reverse. So, Spirit told me that this could be about a divorce. Or you, um, mostly a divorce. Or you lost your partner. But I'm getting the feeling that the reason that you're having these financial difficulties is because of a divorce. Okay. Uh, above you is Iku. Iku in Yoruba signifies death. It talks about Egum. It talks about change, transformation. Um, it could be saying that you're going to attend a funeral. Or a funeral is being planned. Um, but you got it in reverse. Okay. So when I saw it, I felt that you feel like this situation is not going to change anytime soon. And like you feel it's never going to end. Next card that you had here was the village. The village, similar to the tower and the tower, right? And this was in reverse. And it said to me that you are afraid that you're going to lose your home. And that you're going to have to move. Mm. Next card that you got was uh, the Five of Air. Five of Air. And this is in the reverse. So, this says that it's all right, so you have to move. They're phony people anyway. <laughs> you found out who your friends really were. You found out who, who they were and who, who they weren't. All right, so... You're not even, you're not feeling well, Oshimari. This is this is creation. This is everything that um, the earth has to offer. Everything that the Creator offers us: beauty and light and 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 hardship and hope and rainbows and riches and the fruit of, of the trees and everything, everything about life, okay? The snake in the middle, that's signifying healing, okay? Like medicine, you know, it has two snakes on it, catechist. All right, so this symbolizes the healing power of, of God, right? When it's in the reverse, but you had it in, you had it in the reverse, right? 
So when you have it in the reverse, what it said to me, sorry if I got a little uh, turned around just then. Um, hmm. Said to me that, uh, Just the, you feel as if God has abandoned you, and that you uh, are are suffering, and that you are not feeling well. But God is uh, God has not abandoned you, and you are going to be healed. Is just going to come slowly. God doesn't abandon you. But there's a reason for this because uh, I'm sorry to say this is this karma card here is telling me that there's a lesson of something that you need to learn in this situation. As old, as do we all in most situations. It's not just things happen for no reason. Big things, though, there's a lesson to be learned. Mm. But you should go in... Uh, the next card you got was salamanders, and it was in the upright position. So you do need to go and see a doctor, um, have your digestive system uh, checked out, your circulatory system checked out. Uh, you also may want to go and talk to someone. Maybe you want to see a psychologist because you're depressed. But this says that you are usually very optimistic about things and that you have a plan you're going to, you know, try to uh, do a budget and uh, get back on track. It seems that this was brought about because of uh, overspending, okay, trying to catch it with the Joneses. Well, the overspending caught up with you. And so now that you got divorced or your other half is not around and you have to foot all these bills, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to back down on some of these things. You may have to move. You may have to sell your house. Okay. Um, but I feel that, you know, people are going to, some people are going to look out for you. But you are going to find out that the people that you thought were your friends are the people that you thought were going to be supportive. They're not being as supportive. As you would have thought. Um, but you like this says. You are um, optimistic. And you are willing to adjust and change. Alright so. That's good. Next card that you got Pisces was a message from Earth. This talks about uh, selfishness, narcissism, and this guy's got gold, and he's got money, and he's got money grown in front of him, Pl seeds that he's planted, they're, they're shooting up, everything is good, he's sitting on top of the world, he's got money to the left, money to the right, things are good. Okay, so you've got this in reverse, Pisces. Which says to me, that you ha you will be facing a large financial loss, or you have faced a large financial loss. And uh, this is what happens when you find out that a practical joke is not really that funny. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. <laughs> But that's what they said to say. The things that make you laugh will make you cry. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Yeah. You may, um, you may have to file bankruptcy at the end of the day here, Pisces. But 
Spirit said to tell you, don't play the victim. You cause yourself to get here by overspending and not being, not sharing with your partner, not telling him what the spending was. Either that or you had just two different ideas on what spending was. How spending should go in a situation, in a relationship. Didn't agree on the way to spending. Okay. You didn't agree with your spouse about spending and saving. And so that's why you broke up. And you weren't expecting it. It happened suddenly. And you did not get more than you were entitled to. And it's for a limited amount of time. It's maintenance and you have to go back to school. You have to get retrained in order to work because you haven't been working during this relationship. Okay, so your husband was the one that was working and you weren't working all the time that you were married and then he found out how you spend the money and it caused y'all to get a divorce and lose your home. Oh. And you can't get any help from any of your friends. Nobody's coming to help out. Step to the plate. So you feel, you're not feeling good. You're feeling very sick behind all of this, of course, as anyone should and would. And you may have to end up filing bankruptcy you're trying to be positive and optimistic about the situation. Okay, well, that's a good way to be. Okay, so let's see what the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck has to. Uh, any light that needs to be shed on this situation for you, Pisces. This is pretty... Yeah... Alrighty. Solar plexus chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. Okay. Well, so this is talking about your solar plexus chakra. I'm looking for the book because I want to read this one. But this looks like it's going to be okay. Look how bright yellow that is. All right, so let's see. The solar plexus chakra is linked to fire, personal power, and self-esteem. Its name is Manipura, and it means lustrous gem. The color associated with it is yellow, and it is situated roughly two inches above the navel. This card deals with your lack or excess of personal power. If you allow others to make decisions for you or allow them to manipulate you, you will never find happiness. By following your own path and making choices that are your own, you will find that your own inner strength and confidence will grow. If you are overconfident or use your power to control or manipulate others, this card is asking you to start acknowledging the strengths and those around you. All people have their own part to play in this life. No one is better than another. Only by respecting and recognizing the strengths in others will you find their cooperation. By acknowledging your own strengths, you will be able to live life to its fullest. Remember, power is not about control, but about recognizing and awakening the unique inner strengths of all those around you. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. Okay, Pisces. So I believe that this is saying that you have to be, you have to learn how to compromise. Okay. Take, take, um, 
take responsibility for the things that you do and be willing to listen to other people's opinions when you're in a relationship to be able to compromise. That's all I keep hearing is learning, respecting other people's strengths and wisdom and guidance. Just opening up to the possibility that you might be wrong. All right, let's see. Okay. Flirt in the reverse. I extend my lighthearted energy to others. That's in the reverse. Hmm. Well, yeah, you've been a little depressed, a little down. Okay. Let me see. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that, Pisces. Um, okay, so the first card that you got from the Romance Angel Oracle deck was Flirt. What's in the reverse? Okay. Alrighty, so. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Express your love. Reconciliation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Religious practice. <laughs> okay, so maybe you're not divorced. Maybe your husband is just threatening, your, your spouse is just threatening to leave. Hmm. Or you're just legally separated right now. So I think the saying that you haven't been flirting with your your partner you need to start expressing your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so that you can reconcile the situation <laughs> religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path I, i'm they're telling me to just go in you know like pull out all stops <laughs> <laughs> Pisces, I'm so sorry. They're saying that you should try to get back with your spouse so that you can get your money back and get your money right. And you have learned your lesson. You have learned your lesson. Okay, that's the karma. Yes, tell your spouse you have learned your lesson. You know, he does not have to, he or she does not have to worry about you ever putting you all in this situation again. You're gonna swear on a stack of Bibles. Okay, and okay, all right, so, hmm, hmm, past life relationship, yeah, I think you, they want you to go back with them. Playfulness again. Recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, that's that optimism and all of that. You're going to have to pull all of that out. It says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And this says honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, the holidays are coming. Because I, you could not possibly be going on a vacation because you're baroque. <laughs> you don't have no money for no vacation. So I'm saying that I'm thinking it's saying that you need to just go ahead and try to, you know, be nice and seductive and playful. You know, maybe, you know, you go over to his place and, you know, make dinner for him or, you know, come on, you know what to do. So that you can get your your business back together because this is really bad. Sometimes you have to be humble. I mean, this is just the advice. You can do whatever you want to do. Next card that I found here is said, uh, pay attention to the red flags. Yep. You're going to have to learn how to um, harness your spending. Respect the fact that other people have opinions about where their money should go. 
once you're married, that that becomes a, a a joint thing. Unless you have your own account, you know, um, are you bringing in some kind of money on your own somehow? But still, it's it's you know everything goes into the pot, and how much are you putting in the pot of what you're making if you're spending it on you know Gucci? Huh, these things in my life. There are things in my life that I have left undone. Until today, you may have made excuses for the unkempt and incomplete areas of your life. Just for today, be devoted to acknowledging the things you have left undone, unsaid, and incomplete. Acknowledgement is the first step towards healing. Yeah, I think you need to humble yourself and, uh, you know, unless you want to start all over again from scratch, unless you think that you'll do well in the training that they're giving you, you know, that you'll find a nice place to uh, to live. Um, and you look forward to going out in the workforce and, you know, being part of that 9 to 5, 24-7, whatever. You know, if you can do it. It's not the worst thing in the world, you know, to be dependent upon yourself. But, mm. Things in my life I have left undone. There's a lot of things that you need to clear up, including the bills that need to be paid. And the tithes that you owe the church that's keeping you from going to church. The devil you know is worth, is better than the devil you don't know. You already know what's what's up with this with your partner, that you know what they want. And you can do it. Because if you are willing to budget yourself in this situation, then that means that you're willing to, you sh know how to budget and that you're willing to budget. So don't go back if you're trying to, um, you know, get yourselves right back into the same situation. And it's easy to do. It is easy to do, but you have to find ways to soft, you know, safeguard yourself. Turn off that H&N channel, you know, block it, block QVC, all of that stuff. I had to do it. I know. Not because anybody told me, but I mean, I knew that I, this was like getting out of hand. You know, you do become a hoarder. That could be the other thing. Maybe it's just not hoard money that's being spent. It's also hoarding that's going on. And uh, he, he, he's just not really willing to deal with it anymore. Okay? Just keep your fingers off of the Amazon screen sometimes, you know. Limit yourself to how much you spend in that. Now, if you're making your own money and that's what you do with your money... You know, yeah, that's your money, but at the same time, that means that there's less money to have a night out. There's less money to uh, uh, treat the family to something new. Uh, it's just always catch, you know, catching up, catching up, catching up, even if you don't talk about it, you know. If you're spending money, you know, money does not grow on trees, you know. And, and and it has to be replenished. You know, if you, if you work, if you spend this, then that means that somebody has to work more to put that money back because that's external to the regular budget. Okay, you have to be hmm, cognizant of these things. You have to, you know, be considerate of, of your partner. Both of you are working. If you work in the home, you're working. If they work outside of the home, they are working. If you're working in the home, um, you know, taking care of the children, the home, and that kind of thing, yes, that does have a value. But if you're going to be spending money and you're not adding to the actual dollar amount, then... You can't turn around and say, well, you owe me this because things ain't work out, so I should get that. But you were spending that money, you were spending money back then on all of the bling bling. So how many times do you get to, to, to slice into this pot? Hey, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Uh-uh, uh-uh, sorry.
girl power and all of that. But come on, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> but hey, if you can get your, know, if you can find a sucker that's gonna go along with that with you, more power to you too, sis. That that that's ballsy. That's that's ballsy. Excuse. Excuse me, fellas. That's ballsy. Okay, so. Anyway, thank you so much, Pisces. You were my last video for the November general reading. And it's not even November 1st yet. Ah, I did good. So, I'm going to get the love bites up. I don't know if I'm going to do it today, which I might. Because it's early. And I can do those quickly. But if not, um, they'll be done. They actually did not do till mid November, so I get a few days off, don't I? Yes, and uh, I'll be doing some postings online, it might be in the uh, YouTube Live or Facebook Live. So, if you subscribe to the channel when I do live readings or I do unboxings, you'll get notifications and then you can come and join, right? So, don't forget to like and share, okay. Uh, subscribe, please. Share. You don't know if this message did not re uh, resonate with you. It may have resonated with someone that you know, someone around you. So just let's share the messages. That's what we're here for, right? Okay, so I will be seeing you all in a few weeks for the um, Love Bites. And I'll also be seeing you in December for your December reading, okay? Um, Please make comments in the bottom. Let us know what's going on. Share your experiences with this situation, what's, what's happening. All right? We can pray for you as we pray for each other. All right? So any comments, leave it in the bottom. If you want to shoot me an email, I do private readings. The email is pbtarot7 at gmail.com. And you can follow me on Facebook. Um, our stories continue and I'll be seeing everybody soon, okay? Alafia, amen, ashe, peace.